Welcome into another Teacher Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Coach Suho with Greater Richmond Fit for Kids here to talk to you about adding voiceovers to your boom cards. This is a great way to add a little bit of depth to your boom cards as well as to make sure that your kids don't get hung up on reading the questions that you have for them. I'm going to go over how I record my audio, how I upload it, how I add it to the cards, as well as we'll play around a little bit with the autoplay feature, the template, and a few other tweaks. Let's go over to the boom cards and see what we got going on. Here we are in our boom deck that we want to add some sounds to. Right now, there's nothing in here. We want to add some intro sounds. We want to add some sounds of us reading the questions. Here's how we do it. We open the voice recorder app in Windows 10. Just search for it down in the search bar. should pop up. We click on this blue button and we record the sound that we want. Let's identify some coins with Greater Richmond Fit for Kids. Make sure you have some space that you can move in because there's exercises sprinkled throughout. Now that we have our recording for this slide, I'm going to go ahead and rename it because I keep all of my names for my files the same for the boom deck, which is why I'm going to copy the front part of this because we're going to use that front part for all of these. The number is going to match the number of the slide that we need to upload it to. So click on rename. We're going to ignore this one for now because um, I have a general one for that. Let's do these next few slides in a row and then we'll just go back and rename them. Click on the penny. So I click on the next card so I can see what it is. Click on the nickel. Click on the dime. Click on the quarter. I like to string a bunch of um, recordings together because it tends to be a little bit faster. So I'm going to name uh, this recording recording three because that was for slide three. This will be for slide four, slide five, slide six. But it makes it faster because that way you can go through quickly rename a bunch, and then you don't have to worry about getting lost or scrolling through a bunch of sounds. Now one tip before I move on. One, well, first part of the tip, make sure you add some movement to your activities. Uh, you can do that easily by throwing in an activity slide like this. Now my tip is this. I've recorded a general sound that goes with this jog in place activity. So what that means is every time I add this to a boom deck, the slide of jogging in place, I already have a sound ready for it. I don't have to re-record it. It's ready to go. All right, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to upload these sounds. So we got to go back into our... We don't have to go back. This is one way that I find to do it nice and easy. We're going to go back to our studio, click on our sounds. Now we don't have a folder yet, so we need to create a folder. We're going to use that same naming that we used before. Okay. Then we're going to click on that folder. Next, we're going to click on Upload Sound. It'll take you, you might have to navigate to where your sounds are. Ours are all right here. So you highlight all of them, click and drag over them, click Open. It'll upload them. And there they are there. We don't need the voice recorder anymore for this part, so we can max this out. Let's go back into our boom deck. Now there's a couple different ways you can add sounds to cards. Um, if you just have one card that you want one sound, you can click and drag the sound icon in. Once you drop it in there, it wants you to choose which sound you want. This is OK ID coins one, or zero K ID coins. And then I can move it over here to the side. And since I want the sound to autoplay, I'll click on autoplay down here in the bottom corner. That's one way you can do it. Now the thing is, we're going to want sounds on most of our cards. So the easier way that I found to do it, let's get rid of that one, is to go to your template card. You see I already have a drop zone on my template because I use that a lot in this as well. So I'm going to drag my sound icon. Um, I'm just going to pick the first one and then I'm going to move this to the corner. Because this is designed for kindergarten and first grade, most of these are going to autoplay. Actually, all of them are going to autoplay. So we have that in the corner. 
We can check a few slides to see if it's where we want it. You can adjust this individually, but honestly, for the most part, it looks pretty good. I'm going to just slide it over just a touch. There we go. Now, we go to our first slide. The first slide just happens to be correct because this is ID coins one. This is slide one. There's our sound file. It's set to autoplay. That's what we want. We did not record one for this yet. So we're going to skip that. This is slide three. When we click on this, it says coins one. So we need to change that sound. And it is three. So we click on three. So now it should be autoplay ID coins three because it's slide three. Do the same thing for four. Click on it. Change sound. Click four. It's already set to autoplay because that's how we had it on the template. Again, here. Click here. Change sound. This is five. Boom. Cards. Change sounds. There's six because that's slide six. Now here's the thing. We already had a sound for this file. It automatically put one in here because we put one on the template. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, and then we're going to hit the delete key. It's going to ask us, do you want to delete this? It's on the template card. Yes, we do. So we delete it. We still have this one, which is fine because it's what we want. It's the jog in place um, sound file, and it is set to autoplay. You can tweak a few settings, as in like if you want to change the size of stuff, um, or you want to move where it's located, you can just click and drag. You can do stuff like that. You can control Z to undo certain things. Um, but that'll do it for voiceovers. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below. Be sure to subscribe because we should be dropping a new tutorial video every Tuesday for you. All right, take care.